you guys wish. I'd like to call the public hearing to to order. Um, this is the county executive's budget and um, budget and finance committee report. Um, it's Tuesday, September 30th, 2014. Um, anyone from the public that would like to speak, please state your name, address. Um, this is your opportunity to speak. It is not our place to respond, um, but this is your this is your time for the public to be heard. So. I would like to speak. Thank you. My name is Michael Chayer of the Fort City of Amsterdam. I believe it's the 6th District. I can't see it. Yeah, I want to comment on one particular item that has to do with the supposed tax, I'll call it not a fee, on vehicles. Uh, I am probably the only person here in Montgomery County who has ever done a user fee since 1973 until I left in 2008. We instituted back in the 70s a sewer fee. With $55 a unit, that meant per household. I took probably over 1,000 complaints on it. I don't anticipate you're going to take that many complaints. But my point being, once you start to institute anything, I'm going to call it a tax. Once you start to do that, it's very hard to take it back. And right now, the fee, cumulative, per household, on sewer alone, is $271 a unit. And that's what I'm afraid of. Once you put one fee in, you're going to have another, 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 and you're never going to stop. The people don't need it, they need relief. Right now, our combined unit fee for water, sewer, and sanitation in the city is $871 a unit. That's outrageous. This idea to get revenue, I guess they sent the revenues for the, the bridges and the streets or the roads or whatever it is, is untenable in the, in the scheme of things. You know that's only a drop in the bucket. You know, it only opens the opportunity for next year to make it $30, $50. $60 and find something else to do. The taxpayers don't need it. I've worked with taxpayers probably more than anybody in the county of Montgomery for years and we're drained. We don't need it anymore. Just a few comments about your budget. I look in here at a few items. I had a lot but I decided to cut it down. For instance, the county executive. Who, what's this director of labor management relations for $50,000? What, what blazes is that? You got a communications specialist for thirty nine. Uh, you know, I've listened to Matt. Matt is fully capable of communicating. I don't know what that's about. Then you've got professional services, and I understand that's for an attorney. How many attorneys do we need? You know what they used to say, if you took all the attorneys and put them in the ocean, it'd be all the better for mankind and all the worse for the fish. So I don't know how many more we need. Also, you've got two deputy commissioners of public works on buildings and grounds and highways for 45 and 61. And what is this deputy personnel officer? I thought we had a personnel officer. What is that about? You know, right there is $277,517 plus fringe benefits, which are probably another hundred. And I see in your county clerk that, who I respect, uh, has a revenue of $599 in appropriations of, well, actually, I'll take that back. She has a revenue of a million in there because I guess that's where the fee was. And the difference is about 400000 or whatever in your budget. So I guess that is going to be put into that. But once you, again, I want to reiterate, this isn't something you should just take lightly. I worked with it. Hid, I worked with it. And I saw it every year continue to escalate and find another means to charge a user fee. It's a tax. Call it grandma's pudding. It's a tax. That's exactly what it is. We don't need any more. And I protest here. I'm totally against it. And I think any legislator on here that votes for this should be voted out of office. Thank you. Was there anyone else who'd like to comment from the public? Okay, we'll close the public hearing.